Office 2010 database queries. A query is used to extract information from your tables. So if we have a look at uh, this particular table, we could extract information like um, people with a specific surname or a specific gender if this field was completed, or perhaps we would want to see who stays in a specific area. Uh, we could also have a look at how many people prefer electronic books over hard copy books and we could also look at um, the price. So a query is really any question that you can pose to towards your table and then the information will be extracted for you. So let's quickly run through how to create a query. You select the create tab and then I prefer using the query design um, command button. And the first thing you have to do is you need to add the table that you're going to use. So I'm going to use table members. You add that once. And then you have to add the field. So I'm going to add name. I'm going to add surname. And I'm going to add uh, preference, whether they like electronic books or hard copy books. OK. You can also choose to sort your information. So I'm going to go to the surname section here and I'm going to sort in ascending order and you can choose whether or not to show your uh, sp a specific field in your query when you run the query and I'm going to add criteria to preference because I want to see all those people who prefer hard copy books okay so I'm going to add the criteria hard copy okay and once you've done that you can go to your design tab and you can run your query Okay, and there you'll see all the people who prefer hard copy books. Uh, there's many ways to actually add criteria. So I'm just going to go back to my design view and go right click, select design view. So there are other things that we could do here. We could also say, um, show us everyone who prefers a hard copy whose surname starts with a D. So then we would type in D and we would use the wildcard star or the little asterisk to actually um, depict the rest of the characters so it has to start with a D but it can end with anything and because they're on the same line that means and okay so show me everybody who prefers a hard copy book and whose surname starts with a D it's important that you understand the difference between the and and the or line here so let's quickly just run this query and have a look at what it looks like okay so here there's one person whose name starts with a D and who prefers a hard copy book I'm going to go back to my design view quickly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this criteria to the OR line. Okay, so now it's going to say, show me all the people who prefer hard copy books, does it regardless of what their surname starts with, and show me all the people who start, whose surname starts with a D and prefers any kind of book. Okay, so let's have a look at what this uh, query result looks like now and you can see that it's a completely different story now okay so when you do your queries uh, read your question carefully and show that you understand uh, where to add criteria and whether or not they should be on the same line or whether they should be split over the criteria lines